people walk their dogs, but who do robots walk? It could be other dogs, or perhaps another robot. Engineers at Westwood Robotics presented such a peculiar and amusing scene in their new video. Currently, they are testing the capabilities of their robot Temis for various tasks, although there are no details yet on its autonomy and technical specifications. Watching another humanoid robot in action is still interesting. As for the little one on the leash, that happens to be the already available Bruce, a versatile dynamic robot. This open platform for research and education was developed in collaboration with another robotics lab, Ramella, which is currently actively supported by Bill Gates. The moment has come when Boston Dynamics robots, which we are accustomed to seeing in exciting dances and tricks, are beginning to approach real-world industrial applications. The latest abilities of the Atlas robot, which can now unpack and move automotive shock absorbers, could be a turning point in its career. The automotive manufacturing sector, where precision, reliability, and the ability to handle heavy components are required, seems like the ideal place for humanoid robots. Specialized industrial robots are already widely used here, but complex and multifaceted tasks requiring a human touch have so far remained beyond their capabilities. Elon Musk has already expressed his intention to use Tesla Optimus robots at Tesla factories, while the startup figure plans to test its developments in BMW production. Now, Boston Dynamics, owned by Hyundai, could make its contribution by offering its Atlas robot for automotive manufacturing work. Although Atlas is still an experimental project, it demonstrates tremendous potential among humanoid robots, and its application in the commercial sphere could be a significant step in the development of robotics, justifying years of academic research. The robot of Abraham Lincoln is frightening people with the realism of its facial expressions. This robot, created by Gamer Holt Production, may not be an exact copy of Abraham Lincoln, but it is still a significant step forward in the creation of hyper-realistic android robots. In a few more years, it might be possible to order a realistic copy of oneself or a family member. Gamer Holt Production is known for providing animatronics used by Walt Disney Studios. Over its 35-year history, the company has built thousands of animatronic items for theme parks. The latest achievement from the company is an extremely realistic artificial head, mimicking the first U.S. President Abraham Lincoln. With approximately 40 unique movements and a new type of artificial silicone skin developed by the company, the effect is astonishing. Robo Lincoln is intended for use in museums and theme parks, and it is expected to become part of an exhibition titled Living Faces of History. The breakthrough in realism at the company is attributed to the introduction of new servo motors that allow for increasingly subtle movements of the android's facial muscles. Share in the comments, would you like to own such a hyper-realistic robot friend? Walt Disney Imagineering specialists have developed an incredibly cute robot that moves just like a living creature. In the future, such robots could entertain guests at Disneyland, and their advancements might find applications in the field of special effects for movies. The main feature of the machine is its ability to replicate the movements of various characters. To make the robot appear more friendly and appealing, they incorporated some traits of dogs. For instance, the antennae on its head serve as a kind of tail, allowing it to express curiosity and other emotions. The technologies employed in the robot will enable the creation of others that closely resemble animated and film characters by accurately mimicking their movement styles. It has also been revealed that Disney is developing a special system that uses machine learning to transfer the movement style from animators to robots. This approach makes robots friendly and close companions to humans, helping them adapt more quickly. Shift Robotics has announced an updated version of its robotic roller shoes, the Moonwalker X, enabling significantly faster movement than regular footwear. In 2022, Shift Robotics introduced the initial version of its Moonwalker, dubbed the fastest shoes in the world. These were specialized robotic shoe attachments with 10 wheels, allowing for significantly accelerated steps. The company proposed the use of its innovation primarily for workplace environments, benefiting people required to take up to 30,000 steps daily, such as warehouse and logistics workers. The new version features reduced weight, improved maneuverability and safety, and the ability to adapt to smaller size footwear. The company claims that Moonwalker shoes, accelerating normal walking to 11 kilometers per hour, have doubled the efficiency of warehouse workers and saved 400 hours per year on employee movements. Mass production of Moonwalkers X is scheduled for the first half of 2024, with prices to be announced at that time. Shift Robotics has allocated a limited number of Moonwalkers X for companies seeking priority access, and the product will be showcased at CES 2024. Researchers from Barcelona have created nanorobots, one injection of which reduces a bladder cancer tumor by 90%. Studies have already been conducted on mice, and the results obtained during the trials are simply astonishing. These tiny nanomachines consist of a porous silicon sphere and operate on urea. Another important component is radioactive iodine, a radioisotope commonly used for localized tumor treatment. 
The nanorobots move along the walls of the bladder, accumulating in tumors and providing effective drug delivery, with one dose of nanorobots proving more effective than conventional treatment. Bladder cancer has a high incidence worldwide, requiring constant monitoring and repeated treatment, making it one of the most expensive types of cancer. Researchers believe that the new method will reduce the cost of treatment, but additional testing is needed to assess the potential recurrence of the disease. It appears that in the near future, we may witness a revolution in the treatment of such a formidable disease as cancer. Los Angeles-based startup Rabbit has unveiled the revolutionary R1 device with real artificial intelligence that can fit in a pocket and handle virtually any task for a person. The R1 performs a wide range of digital tasks and simplifies user interaction with the device. For instance, it can book tickets or assemble a grocery basket in an online store. All these functions are packed into a portable compact device resembling a Tamagotchi with a small touchscreen and a camera. Rabbit attracted $30 million in investments and is now showing its product at CES 2024. The R1 is designed to streamline digital tasks by bridging the gap between human intentions and device actions. It is the first device equipped with the Rabbit OS operating system, aiming to change the way people interact on the internet through efficient navigation across multiple applications using natural language commands. We are entering a new era of human device interaction, where AI not only understands natural language, but also takes actions based on users' intentions to complete tasks said Rabbit CEO Jesse Liu. While most voice assistants in smart homes and portable consumer devices handle only simple requests like turning on lights or checking the weather, Rabbit OS can handle most digital tasks. The R1 operates as a standalone device, equipped with Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity, a MediaTek Helio P35 processor, 4 GB of memory, 128 GB of built-in storage, and a USB-C port. User privacy is prioritized in its design, with the microphone and camera activating only when the user initiates interaction. The R1 is already available for pre-order, and shipments are set to begin in March at a cost of $199. Before you is the robot Han, which represents a humanoid robot whose appearance closely resembles that of a human. The Hansen Robotics team is responsible for its creation. Han was first introduced to the public in 2015 during a technology exhibition. Initially, the development of this male robot was planned to enable the implementation of high-tech communication components in medicine. According to the developers, the uniqueness of the robot lies in its ability to reproduce a wide range of emotions and interact quite accurately with the surrounding environment during conversations. Han can recognize people's faces, their moods, ages, and genders. Currently, the developers are focused on popularizing the robot as an employee for customer services as it has the ability to communicate with each person. Han has three cameras that allow him to see everything around with high precision and object recognition. In 2017, debates took place between Han and the popular robot Sophia, during which the robots attempted to determine what the future holds for humanity. Technology has advanced so far that now, on a 3D printer, you can print anything, not just realistic body parts. You can even print food that is indistinguishable from natural. Israeli company Redefine Meat has introduced 3D printers for the industrial-scale production of plant-based meat. In appearance and properties, this product is no different from natural meat. According to the developers, the meat printed on the 3D printer evokes the same sensations as a good steak, a tasty piece of animal meat, but without using an animal. The product is made from a plant-based composition, including beets, peas, chickpeas, soy, and coconut oil, along with nutritional yeast. The printer forms a replica of muscles, fat, and blood from this composition, and then combines them to create meat. The printer is equipped with settings allowing the production of meat with varying levels of firmness. It is noted that such a printer can produce several tons of product daily. At present, eight printers have been created, six are operating in Israel, and two more have been sent to the Netherlands, where a factory for the production of artificial meat is set to open. Would you be willing to try meat printed on a 3D printer? Insect cyborgs have existed in laboratories for many years, and scientists are gradually bringing radio-controlled arthropods closer to practical applications. A recent breakthrough in this field involves a novel remote control device for a live Madagascar cockroach developed by scientists from Japan and Singapore. Unlike existing counterparts, this device is solar-powered and minimally restricts the movement of the animal, marking a significant step toward the era of insect cyborgs unfolding before our eyes. The concept is simple. Embed electrodes into the insect's nervous system and send commands through them to turn the living arthropod into a compliant human tool. However, practical implementation has its challenges. According to data from four years ago, typical insect cyborgs inaccurately respond to about half of the commands. Nevertheless, this research is not aimed at directly controlling the insect's brain, but at ensuring that the control device does not interfere with movements and has sufficient power. Researchers powered the device with a lithium polymer battery, which in turn charges from an organic solar cell. 
This pair generates a power of 17.2 milliwatts, sufficient for the control system. The battery enables the device to operate in the dark, and a brief exposure to sunlight for about half an hour allows the cyborg to recharge. However, to transform a toy like Cockroach Cyborg into a useful assistant, additional payloads such as cameras or sensors are necessary. They also require electrical power and space on the cockroach's back. Therefore, the current development is a prototype for potentially useful devices. If the miniaturization of electronics continues at the current pace, we may witness radio-controlled cockroaches in action. The question is whether this development should be welcomed. Insect cyborgs could become reliable assistants not only for rescuers and engineers, but also for intruders. If a cockroach can carry a sensor to inspect pipes, why not equip it with a microphone for eavesdropping? Tracking devices can be made miniature today, but to install them in someone else's apartment or office, one needs to infiltrate. It's challenging for a person to do so without being noticed. But what about an insect? That's when the term bug may take on a literal meaning. Ultra-realistic Japanese robots are getting closer to humans. Meet Actroid F, a lifelike robot developed by the Japanese company Kokoro. One of Actroid's primary tasks is to care for severely ill patients and replace a caregiver, but developers plan to use the robot for much more ambitious goals in the future. To achieve this, Actroid has been endowed with the ability to recognize human emotions using artificial intelligence. It will monitor the patient's facial expressions 24 hours a day. If the system detects a grimace of pain through a dozen sensitive video sensors, a live doctor will be urgently called to the room. Moreover, Actroid can itself display emotions using a variety of robotized facial muscles. The robot can operate autonomously, speak, gesture, and interact with people. Developers demonstrated improvements to the control system of the Actroid SIT robot, making it appear even smarter, with behavior adopting vivid social traits, bringing it much closer to humans. The motion parameterization system allows the Actroid robot to adapt all its gestures and movements to the interlocutor's location, making people feel that the robot is genuinely paying attention to them and no one else. Even though the Actroid SIT robot does not yet possess advanced intelligence that would allow it to engage in a natural conversation on various topics, researchers note that the enhancements made have played a significant significant role in making the robot more appealing to people. However, with the rapid development of neural networks, soon every humanoid robot will be able to freely communicate with people on any topics of interest. Meet Philobot, a robot that literally grows its way towards you, as it can 3D print its own body while reaching its final destination. According to the developers, the robot is designed for exploring other planets. It has the ability to grow upwards towards a light source, but it can be configured differently. The device has a conical head on top, a power source, a base station at the bottom, and a stem-like structure between them. As Philobot grows, it pulls a thread of thermoplastic from a spool on the base station to its head. The thread then passes through a heated extruder in the head, which slowly rotates relative to the body, allowing the robot to 3D print its body. Depending on light sensors, gyroscopes, and other built-in head electronics, parameters like temperature, orientation, and the speed of plastic deposition constantly change. Moreover, the robot automatically wraps around vertical supports if they are nearby, allowing it to spend less time and energy reaching its goal. If there are no supports, the robot makes its body stiff and strong to support itself. It's a remarkable and simultaneously awe-inspiring development. The new smart home companion welcomes users at home, manages household chores, replays key events of the day, and shares weather information. Samsung Electronics unveiled an upgraded version of its AI-powered home robot, Bally, at a press conference ahead of the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2024. First introduced at CES 2020, Bally has enhanced functionality to help users manage their lives more intelligently. Operating as a personal assistant, Bally autonomously moves around the house to perform various tasks. By connecting to home devices and controlling them, Bally can assist users in many situations, continually learning daily routines and habits to offer personalized services. The AI robot Bally provides peace of mind by sending video reports of pets to users' devices when they are away from home. Furthermore, Bally can set the mood for any scenario, whether it's exercising, working, or relaxing. From projecting workout videos to playing favorite music and answering phone calls, Bally makes home life more productive and comfortable. Jinki Itai, a robotics startup from Kusatsu, Shiga Prefecture, recently unveiled a rather unusual but highly intriguing type of heavy machinery, exemplifying the integration of human and machine. The metal humanoid robot with a head, torso, and two arms protrudes upward from a cabin resembling that of an excavator. Designed for technical maintenance tasks in various fields such as railway track repairs or road sign replacement and repair, the robot can replace a team of workers and thus reduce the risk of serious accidents in the workplace. It can lift and move heavy loads such as steel pipes, plates, or wires, and perform its tasks as effectively as a human because it is operated by a person. 
The operator wears special glasses connected to the robot's eyes, allowing precise control of the robot's arm movements using technology developed by the company. This is one of the strongest arguments in favor of human-operated robots, as the founder of Jinky claims that creating technology capable of sensing the required force for various types of interactions and controlling it using electricity is extremely challenging at the moment. Chinese aerospace company Ehang is gearing up to launch sales of its unmanned electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, the EH-216S. Starting April 1st this year, sales of this innovative device will begin in China. The eVTOL, capable of carrying two passengers, has a flight range of 30 kilometers and a maximum speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Equipped with 16 rotors, the drone operates entirely autonomously. This unmanned aircraft has already been granted permission for manned flights, albeit only within China for now. The EH-216S is proposed for sightseeing at low altitudes and other urban tourism purposes. The drone's development is not new. The first trials of this air vehicle were conducted by Ehang in 2017 and 2018, with more than 4,000 test flights completed since then. Ehang's move to launch sales of its UAV is accompanied by successful tests of the Archer Air Taxi, as mentioned in our previous issue. Archer has also completed its first phase of flight testing. These developments pave the way for the emergence of a new mode of transportation, expected to begin commercial operation in 2025. R1 is a humanoid robot designed to assist people in various situations, developed by the Italian Institute of Technology. The R1 robot features an innovative design and built-in artificial intelligence, allowing it to recognize people and objects. Made half of plastic and half of carbon fiber and metal, the R1 humanoid stands at 1.25 meters tall, but can extend its torso by 20 centimeters when needed, and has wheels instead of legs. The robot weighs around 50 kilograms, approximately 10 pounds. Its use will involve assisting elderly people or people with disabilities. The robot is equipped with 28 motors that enable hundreds of different movements in full autonomy. In the future, the robot is planned to be equipped with an artificial membrane that will function as skin, allowing the robot to sense touch. The robot can understand and interpret language, as well as respond independently depending on the situation, all thanks to its brain containing state-of-the-art sensors, two color cameras, and special 3D sensors. R1 is one of the most complex and advanced robots to date. Robotics are everywhere. We use them to cut our grass, vacuum our floors, and even take videos of our roof. Therefore, it is logical to assume that robotics can play a significant role in building our homes. A mule, material unit lift enhancer, is a lift assist device used to handle and lift heavy materials on construction sites. Professional masons employ mule technology to maximize productivity gains and handle heavy materials with increased safety. The equipment also reduces fatigue and injuries in a physically demanding industry. It can be set up in just 10 minutes and attached to construction scaffolding or lifting platforms. Mules also come with various attachments and can be customized according to the conditions of construction sites. This technology has the potential to alleviate labor shortages and attract more people to the construction industry. It offers safety and health benefits and may reduce workers' compensation claims. Additionally, the equipment may contribute to extending the careers of individual masons by mitigating the physical impact of masonry work. Developers of the Moly Robotic Kitchen continue their efforts to refine the idea. Moving away from incredible concepts and super expensive solutions requiring complete reconstruction, they have shifted towards more traditional approaches. However, making these solutions universal and adaptable for the consumer sector, or at least for cafes and restaurants, is still challenging. Ideally, the company envisions the final product as a robot capable not only of preparing full-fledged dishes, but also of notifying when ingredients need replenishing, suggesting recipes based on available items, learning your preferences, and even cleaning surfaces. Once the robot is perfected, the company plans to start mass sales at a price starting from $13,000. It's worth noting that this price includes not only the manipulators, but also the kitchen stove, sink, working surface, and cabinets. A recent study by The Times revealed that nearly half of Americans spend between $6,000 and $25,000 on kitchen furniture. So it may not be such a high price for a robotic kitchen. How soon do you think chef robots will appear in our kitchens? The Synthetic Hand V18 is the latest iteration of the Clone Robotics Humanoid Hand series, and it's got some seriously cool features. Thanks to artificial muscle fibers and special valves, this one-to-one -one scale replica of a human hand can move almost as eerily as the real thing. The most fascinating feature of this hand is its ability to be teleoperated by replicating the movements of a real hand. It can even be trained using internet videos showing human hand movements. However, this raises concerns, given the unpredictable nature of internet content. Who knows what kind of hand gestures it might learn from online sources? 
devices, the 0.75 kilograms hand and forearm offer 24 degrees of freedom and two hours of battery life. Clone Robotics say they plan to sell these synthetic hands for about $2,800 each. Continuing the theme of futuristic fabrics, Adobe has unveiled its latest creation, a monitor dress that changes color and patterns at the touch of a button. This innovation is made possible by a special fabric with multiple layers. By pressing the button, users can access five new designs, change the color, make the dress monochromatic, or add patterns. The technology is named Project Primrose. Unlike other similar inventions, the monitor dress has a textured form and can modify colors and patterns across its entire front surface. Currently, the chameleon fabric changes only in silvery tones, but it can potentially serve as camouflage, allowing for entirely different applications. Project Primrose is still in its early stages of development, but it has the potential to have a major impact on the world around us. It is a glimpse into the future of fashion, technology, and wearable computing. A team of researchers from the University of Tokyo has employed GPT-4 to guide a robot through various simulations, such as taking selfies, tossing a sword, eating popcorn, and playing air guitar. Previously, each action required specific coding, but integrating GPT-4 opens up new possibilities for robots learning through natural language instructions. Direct control is now possible by mapping linguistic expressions and human actions using programming code, explain the scientists. They describe this achievement as a paradigm shift. Coding the coordination of such a large number of joints was a complex task involving repetitive movements. Thanks to the language model, the need for iterative work has disappeared. Now researchers can simply provide verbal instructions describing desired actions, and the language language model generates Python code that activates the robot. Alter 3 remembers actions, and researchers can refine and adjust them, leading to faster, smoother, and more precise movements over time. Equipped with a camera, Alter 3 can see people. Researchers found that Alter 3 improves its vision by observing human reactions. The ability of robots connected to GPT-4 to learn could reshape the interaction between humans and robots, opening new possibilities for more intelligent and adaptive robots. This car is sure to cause a stir in the automotive sector as it is designed for water sports. These incredible vehicles combine the speed and style of racing cars with the thrill of riding the waves. Water sports cars feature an incredible racing car exterior with the latest engine, advanced GPS navigation systems, sound systems, and modern safety measures. Together, these technologies provide a smooth, immersive experience that allows drivers and passengers to fully enjoy participating in water activities while feeling safe and secure. Initially exclusive to billionaires in Dubai, this product is now available in the United States, although the price has not been disclosed yet. And these craftsmen from the YouTube channel Garage Lab managed to turn an ordinary bicycle into a true all-terrain vehicle, capable of moving on any surface and even on water. As the creators themselves stated, the bicycle was assembled from ordinary junk stored in the garage. The off-road vehicle was assembled literally from parts of everything that came to hand. This epic transformation exceeded all our expectations, the engineers declared. But they were even more shocked when their off-road vehicle literally went on water. Now that's real craftsmanship. Write in the comments how you like this invention. The robot figure has learned to independently perform tasks by simply observing humans. General-purpose humanoid robots are expected to carry out various actions using tools, devices, and methods employed by people. They need to be flexible and adapt to dynamic work environments. Robots that require constant programming commands to perform new tasks are impractical. The American startup figure has claimed that their robot, Figure 01, can now observe how people perform tasks, analyze them, and then autonomously carry out these tasks. For example, after 10 hours of video learning, the Android could independently make coffee. The Android responds to verbal commands, opens the top compartment, compartment of the coffee machine, places a coffee capsule inside, closes the compartment, and presses the button. The person who requested coffee then retrieves the finished beverage independently. The key aspect here is not the task itself, but the fact that the robot spent 10 hours learning from videos and can now perform tasks autonomously. A new autonomous action has been added to its library, which can be transferred to another figure robot operating in the same system through group learning. If this learning process is applied to a wide range of tasks, figure could learn to do everything from peeling bananas to using a wrench. Humanoid robots have the potential to be a revolutionary technology if deployed on a large scale. The rapid growth of GPT and other language-based AI models has clearly demonstrated that human intelligence can be surpassed, and the parallel growth of humanoids is capable of ending physical labor. It is not excluded that humanity is on the verge of a technological and social revolution, more extensive than the agricultural or industrial revolutions. Chinese company LimX Dynamics showcased the capabilities of its latest humanoid robot, named CL1. In the video, CL1 demonstrated tasks such as ascending and descending stairs, 
The robot is also capable of free movement both indoors and outdoors. Limex Dynamics anticipates deploying its humanoid robots in business-to-business -business and business-to-consumer applications. The company plans to focus on scenarios involving hazards, high-end customer service, automotive manufacturing, and in-home services. Limex Dynamics highlighted its use of advanced motion control, artificial intelligence, and proprietary actuators and hardware to enable dynamic stair climbing based on real-time perception. The company emphasized that environmental perception technology is an important aspect of the evolution of its humanoid robots. Engineers at the company stated that their main goal is to create a general-purpose humanoid robot. They expressed their ambition to develop a human-oriented humanoid robot in the coming years that could replace humans in virtually any field and perform tasks as effectively as humans do. Disney has decided to showcase the Holotile Smart Floor, which as they stated, will solve a significant issue with VR headsets. According to the demonstration video, each cell of the smart mat can rotate independently of the others, allowing people to move in different directions while staying in place. The company did not provide details on how the technology works, but demonstrated that the unique flooring allows for remote control of objects placed on it. Disney engineer Lanny Smoot mentioned that he is not sure where the technology will be applied, but he believes it is best suited for VR projects, dance, and theatrical performances. The video illustrates the first application, where friends can interact with the mat, recognizing two people and enabling them to move in different directions. The Holotile system is modular and expandable, meaning it can be customized to fit various spaces and scenarios. At the CES exhibition, Doosan Robotics introduced the new Dart Suit robot ecosystem, which makes it easy to integrate artificial intelligence into the operation of cobots, even for those who are not professional developers or integrators. This simplifies the implementation of robots, especially in industries such as manufacturing, logistics, and healthcare. In other words, you can purchase Doosan robots and configure their operation as needed using user-friendly interfaces similar to a regular mobile application. The robots will operate with a high degree of autonomy and be completely safe for humans. The artificial intelligence system will continuously learn and update itself, automatically loading new modules as needed. Additionally, Doosan Robotics showed its latest projects at CES, including the award-winning Oscar the Sorter, an autonomous robot that learns about products and sorts them, even recognizing shredded items without human intervention. They also presented Mixmaster Moody, a bartender cobot that uses artificial intelligence for autonomous operation. Engineers from the Robotic Systems Lab at the Zurich University of Applied Sciences have introduced Barry, a versatile towing robot with a payload capacity of 90 kilograms. The developers decided that the world has enough four-legged pet and inspection robots, so it's time to focus on the functions that people initially envisioned for such machines. It's worth noting that one of the first quadruped robots was Boston Dynamics LS3, developed not as a dog, but as a mule for accompanying humans and carrying heavy loads. Unlike LS3, Barry is compact and relatively quiet. The robot weighs 48 kilograms, and it doesn't need to know the size, weight, or mass distribution of what it carries, making Barry's payload capacity genuinely useful, as it doesn't require adjustment for each load. Moreover, it can operate with a payload for more than two hours and cover almost 10 kilometers. The developers hope that the robot will quickly find applications on construction sites, among rescue teams, and as an unconventional option for a walking wheelchair. Canadian YouTuber from the I Build Stuff channel has created something incredible, a handleless wireless umbrella. Essentially, it's a flying umbrella drone that is controlled by a remote control. For this unique project, the YouTuber used a regular umbrella, a flight controller, a GPS module, a soldering iron, metal pipes, motors, and of course, a 3D printer to print the drone's body. After assembling all the components purchased on Amazon, the YouTuber attached an umbrella hat to the drone, turning it into a quadcopter umbrella. Currently, this prototype can only fly based on commands from the remote and cannot autonomously follow the user, but a second version with special sensors that will track the user's head and automatically control the umbrella is already in the works. The YouTuber has not disclosed the cost of creating this wonder umbrella yet, but if the experiment is successful, he plans to launch his invention on crowdfunding platforms. It is worth noting that the umbrella has a couple of drawbacks. It cannot be folded for convenience, and it is not yet clear how it will behave in strong winds. Meet Emo, a tabletop artificial intelligence companion with personality and ideas. Constantly exploring the surrounding world through a dozen built-in sensors and advanced technologies, the robot can independently investigate the environment and remember more than 1,000 people and movements thanks to artificial intelligence. As a loyal companion, Emo uplifts your mood with music, dance moves, and online games. Emo is also an excellent assistant, waking you up, turning on the lights, taking photos, and answering your questions, making it a true home companion on your desk. 
Emo makes decisions independently, and its personality evolves based on its surroundings and your interaction. If you try to interrupt what it's doing, it might even get a little irritated. The average price of the robot is $500. We have previously shared with you videos about the popular footage from a factory in Korea, showing the mass production process of humanoid robots using the latest 3D printer. But we couldn't skip including these robots in our compilation. According to forecasts, the humanoid robot market is expected to experience significant growth in the coming years. Estimates suggest that this market will increase from $1.8 billion in 2024 to $3.8 billion in 2028, with a compound annual growth rate of 50.2%. This growth is attributed to the increasing demand for humanoid robots in the medical sector and advancements in developing robots with increasingly sophisticated functionalities. Korea is one of the leading countries in the field of robotics development. Koreans are already establishing entire factories for the production of humanoid robots. One such factory is Glock, where the first batch of ultra-realistic androids was recently released using their fleet of large format 3D printers. The humanoid robots are planned to be employed as interactive salespersons and storefront models. All the robot parts were 3D printed with an exceptional photorealistic surface finish, and a polyurethane coating was applied to ensure the durability of the polymer 3D printed components. In the future, the company plans to introduce a metal 3D printing line, allowing them to produce more functional and reliable models. Meet Roboy, a humanoid robot capable of riding his bicycle and selling ice cream. At the current stage of development, Roboy can already recognize people and engage in simple conversations. Soon, he will be able to play the xylophone, a particularly challenging task for robots due to the required dynamics. Roboy expresses his emotions through laser projections on his face. He can smile, frown, express surprise, or be shy. Stereoscopic cameras are responsible for the robot's vision. The neck has three degrees of freedom. The body, consisting of 18 modular motor blocks, contains eight microphones for listening to people, and numerous LEDs. The Roboy robot was built using EOS, 3D printing technology, and the project researchers continue to develop its muscles, joints, and electronics, striving to improve the models until their agility, reliability, and flexibility become comparable to humans. Further developments are being carried out in the laboratory in Frankfurt, where the Roboy team is working on functional legs that will allow him to walk, as well as on artificial intelligence, so that one day he can engage in meaningful conversations. With the development of society and technology, people's demand for robotic arms has become more and more strong. To adapt to the complexity, intelligence and flexibility requirements of the tasks, the dual arm compound robot is developed. The dual arm compound robot is an intelligent and universal platform based on RM ultra lightweight humanoid robotic arm. The robot stands at a height of 1.35 meters and weighs 80 kilograms. The dual arm compound robot is equipped with two robotic arms, each having seven degrees of freedom, which can work freely like human arms. It has the ability of single arm independent operation and dual arm cooperative operation. The bottom is the mobile robot or chassis, which has the ability of movement, navigation, and obstacle avoidance. Besides, the dual arm compound robot integrates voice module and deep vision, giving it the capabilities of voice interaction and visual perception. Autonomous robots Pixel have started cleaning Moscow on a regular basis. Since January 2024, 10 Pixel robots have been regularly cleaning walking paths in several Moscow parks. The robots are equipped with LIDARs, radars, sensors, and machine vision for safe navigation and can work year-round in any weather, clearing snow in winter and sweeping and washing paths in summer. The electric battery provides 16 hours of continuous operation. Additionally, the cleaning robot is quite agile. Its maximum speed reaches 10 km per hour. Pixel robots are planned to enter mass production by the second half of 2024. The Moscow authorities increased the number of robots to 12 and the number of cleaning areas to 5. When the robot encounters an obstacle in its path, it quickly recognizes it and acts according to a predefined algorithm. For example, if there is a person in front of the robot, it will stop and resume its work when the person leaves. It will also carefully bypass parked cars, strollers, or scooters. Thanks to its electric power, Pixel contributes to environmental protection. Moreover, it is almost silent, so it can clean the streets even at night. After completing its work, it autonomously returns to its base. YouTuber Alan Pan created an exoskeleton for arm wrestling and challenged athletes and bodybuilders to compete. The blogger introduced an interesting invention to the world, an exoskeleton for arm wrestling. Armed with his device, Pan challenged regulars at Muscle Beach, a popular spot among bodybuilders in Santa Monica. For his exoskeleton's brackets, Pan constructed them from scrap metal found at home, and to make the device move, he attached a harbor freight winch with a lifting capacity of 900 kilograms to them. The winch is controlled by a controller, powered by a LiPo battery intended for radio-controlled cars. The device is attached to the body with an aluminum frame that is worn on the back. 
To test the exoskeleton, Pan headed to Muscle Beach, where he challenged passers-by, offering to pay $100 to anyone who could defeat him in arm wrestling. Several people accepted the challenge, but no one could overcome the mechanical power of the exoskeleton until the device broke down. After several matches, the winch cable twisted, leading to overloading and the motor breaking down. This allowed the last participant in the unusual competition to defeat Pan and earn the well-deserved $100. Pan is known for his playful inventions. For example, in the summer of 2022, he introduced a set of robotic legs for snakes. When any other animal has deformed legs, humanity comes together, and we create amazing new cyborg legs for that animal, Pan said at the time. But nobody loves snakes so much that they build robotic legs for them. Nobody, except me, snake enthusiast Alan Pan. Studying the legs of a three-toed skink and a sea raspberry, Pan came up with an exoskeleton consisting of a transparent plastic tube with four motorized legs attached to it. On the fringes of each and every CES, there are products worthy of attention, even if they can't be called consumer electronics. A prime example is Atom X, a medical simulator that takes the idea of a CPR mannequin and turns it up to 11,000. Atom X reproduces the skeletal and anatomical structure of a human with distinctive characteristics and features. It is human-sized and has an exceptionally realistic skin. Unlike traditional dolls, Adam X is a fully functional robotic patient used for various medical training scenarios. It possesses distinctive and unique human characteristics and features, enhancing the realism of training. Adam X is durable and suitable for training in any emergency situation with injuries under any conditions, making it ideal for teaching emergency response to both military and civilian personnel. Atom X is a wireless system. A fully functional wireless computer allows the instructor to control and make adjustments during the training session. The HoloConnex company brought to the exhibition a Holobox device, similar to a telephone booth, inside of which there is a realistic hologram of the interlocutor or a pre-recorded digital avatar. Journalist ZDNet tested the innovation and shared impressions in a video format. The Holobox booth, powered by artificial intelligence algorithms, displays a hologram of a person on each of its ends of the wire. To achieve a high-quality image, the user must be well-lit and stand against a white backdrop. An 86-inch display with an anti-glare coating is responsible for projecting the hologram, while a pair of speakers provides the audio. Holobox only requires a power outlet and internet access to operate. According to the developers, organizations such as UNICEF, the United Nations, BMW, Nike, Vodafone, and T-Mobile are already using the device. The price and retail availability date of the device have not been announced yet.